Welcome back. Today we will discuss how to perform the momentum simulation in advanced design system. For this purpose we I have created a ring patch antenna on which we will perform the momentum simulations. To perform momentum simulation, we have to define a substrate. To create a substrate click on substrate button. This is layers stack up. Starting from the bottom, which is ground plane. Then, there is a substrate layer. You can change the substrate material of your choice. By default, alumina substrate is selected whose relative permittivity is 9.6 and thickness is 25 mil. You can change this material. So add material from the database. For example I need APTFE material with relative permittivity of 2.5. Select the material. Select the material. Change thickness to 1.57 in my case. This is the main layer on which layout is created. Change the thickness of conductor to 35 micron. Change the material from perfect conductor to copper. Save the setting. In the next step, insert a port. Now, create a EM setup for momentum simulations. In the first step, we have to choose setup type. We will choose EM setup for this video. I will make separate video on EM co-simulation. In the next step, we choose EM simulator. We have three options available. First is Momentum RF, second is Momentum Microwave, and third is FEM. Momentum RF is best suited for RF designs involving primarily planar structures with moderate frequencies. Momentum Microwave extends the capabilities of Momentum RF to higher frequencies and more complex planar structures. FEM, the most versatile handling arbitrary 3D geometries and providing high accuracy across a wide frequency range, but it requires more computational resources and time. For this video, I will choose Momentum Microwave. This is the layout for which we are creating this EM setup. We have already defined the substrate. Next option is to check the port. We have already created port, Set the frequency range. You can also set the frequency type. It may be adoptive, linear, log, single etc. But, I recommend that you keep it adaptive. When you keep it adaptive, then, only those points of frequency are simulated which are critical and necessary. This decreases the simulation time. In output plan, use the default setting. In the last option save current for all generated frequencies. When we enable this option, then, we can visualize the currents. In options, most of the time, I use the default settings, except mesh setting, which is very important. Mesh frequency is the highest simulation frequency, but you can also change this frequency according to your requirement. Mesh density is 20 cells per wavelength. In complex geometries you can increase the mesh density to get the accurate results. You can also enable edge mesh to cater skin effect. By enabling it you can accurate results. Do not disturb the other setting. Now we have set the EM setup for simulation. Save the settings. Press the simulation RUM button. Observe that simulation does not take place at all frequencies linearly. This is because we have choose the adoptive setting. Momentum simulator used the method of moments to calculate S parameters. For this purpose it calls the greens function. After the simulation get completed, the results will be displayed. As we use a single port, so only S11 parameter is displayed along with the phase response. 
you observe that this is a narrow band antenna with the operational frequency at around 3500 MHz. You can also change its operational frequency by adjusting the feed position. Now, go to EM tab, and go to Post Processing tab, and select the Visualization option. In this tab you can view the materials and objects. In the solution type, there are two things present. First is ports, as there is only one port, so, only one port is visible. And second is simulated frequencies. You can check the current density at any selected frequency. In the plot properties tab, you can view the field. You can also enable the arrow options. 